Hello. Tradition, remembering and recognizing. Tradition is tricky. Traditions begin somehow and end sometime with highly variable half-life. Traditions may or may not have high intrinsic value and certainly do not need to have glitter. A case in point is an old oaken bucket, which has been a traveling football trophy between IU and Purdue since 1925, almost 100 years. I remember Scott Albert well, and much could be said, but in this context sufficient to note his role as a master of ceremonies at the Mega Marathon Triple Retirement Gig, and that he's subsequently retired and had to clean out his office during COVID times. Scott could not bear to toss some of the Tony Leonard collateral, a youthful picture of our Tony and an IIT student paper citing Tony as a person of distinction. The article concludes by calling Tony a minch. Minch is Yiddish for a person of dignity and honor. Scott gave the collateral to me and asked that I pass the material along to, as a do-it-yourself traveling trophy, a Tony Leonard Math Minch Award to a deserving math person who may or may not pass it along subsequently and who may or may not prolong the nascent tradition. I agreed to light such a torch and award um, this uh, honor once, fully realizing it's a candle in the wind, but this recognition fulfills my promise to Scott. I was pleased to have so many deserving mathmates to consider. You are very special and noble, but none more deserving than. Gail Laurent, the 2021 Tony Leonard Memorial Math Mensch. Chris Bailey is holding a physical traveling trophy kit for Gail for now in anticipation of a return to near normal. If you will allow me a final comment about tradition. The, uh, tradition is the title of the opening song of the brilliant musical Fiddler on the Roof. Overall, the song sets up the major theme of the villagers trying to continue their traditions and keep their society running as the world around them changes. I find the analogy compelling with our math department in this modern 2020s world. Like the villagers, we are figuring out what to leave in and what to leave out. Traditions can help ground us, but should not constrain us. The end. Thanks for listening and take care.